Hello and welcome to episode 4, episode 5 of the Dinobot Round Table. And you can see this one will be different. Well, since last week's, for some odd reason, had two reviews. This one will be different. Well, it, yeah, uh, to buy the new. You buy my latest intervention in technology and all that other stuff. Anyway, let's get off first thing first with my little objects. You can see I done a transformer. Then I, you saw the recent review of two reviews you saw from Transformers Elated, which I did, and you, if you listen to the smokescreen review, and I said, it's been a long while since I done Transformers. Truth is, yes, I didn't done a lot of Transformers later, later, since I was busy doing with this time. And surprisingly, both reviews got five views. Which is a good thing, considering that apparently... The reviews got better? Is it Transformers related? And it's not Transformers related? They don't care? But anyway. And you, last week I did say mention I watched Ice Seen Turtles. Yes, I did watch more episodes of that turtle show. And possibility me will gain the toys and review them. Is most likely will possibly happen. But anyway. But anyway, but there will be more. Anyway. This one will be a slow week. No by that I being slow. Yeah, it will be another bots only episode. It will be just bots and robots. And you can also notice that that I did do review. I will upload the Lego reviews when I can. Most of them will be in the O fraction review, and I will do. And others will be in the new version because the old ones made this for pictures not for film not for film repetition <coughs> and yeah there will be no Dinobot Roundtable next week for for next Saturday I should say there will be one this Saturday so yeah catch up for a Dinobot Round no no Catch up a bot down, throw down a catch up or a bot down, throw down a what went wrong. Thursday and Friday will be wait, Thursday, Tuesday, and Thursday will be a bot down, throw down. Will be no part of the What went on? And the history of comics, episode one. And then Friday will be on. There will be two videos of of the of a movie that. I've been dealing with it well, many times. As I will flip up the phone. See? See? Yes. One will not have the. The non explorer review will not have the intro group. So. Sorry. But the one with spooners in it will have the intro jokes. Yeah. 
This one's funny. But anyway. On to that news. Okay, here is the brief the announcements of the news. It will probably be your few bits. First off, a bit of Transformers 4 news. Um, they're at Texas right now, so that's because of. In a way, there will probably be more in Timothy. First up, the new car, which is a Lamborghini Acro, Acro, whatever that name is. It's black. It's got yellow. I don't know. It could be a new Autobot, possibly Sunstreaker. It could be a Decepticon. It could be a De if it was a Decepticon, could be Breakdown or Dead End. Or whatever the Centicons are, but to me, it looks fancy schmancy cars, and possibly be, being an Autobot are very slim. It might be a Decepticon, or it could be just the bad guy, the human villain car. Okay, next bit I'm talking about news, news from San Diego Comic Con Hasbro release panel. So this was just. And dare I say it, only got to, did not really saw the Legacy Toughnet or the Pony or the GM figure, so you cannot see them. But there is the G.I. Joe Transformers, Hound, and Jetfire. It's pretty nice. Well, here's the box art if you want to see. Similar to what we had last year and the year before with Starscream and Shockwave. Instead, Instead, you got two vehicles from G.I. Joe, what I don't know, because I'm not a fan of G.I. Joe, I'm a fan of robots, but sometimes I have a little bit of G.I. Joe, but anyway, first up we have Hound, which is a repaint of a van from G.I. Joe, pretty nice, which is great, better than the Shockwave hit camp. Yes, I know G.I. Joe released stuff, but this is pretty nice. Nice for Hound becoming a Jeep. And, but the big selling point of this deal is the Jetfire repainted similar to his former cause, former buddy Starscream is. Except he has all the other stuff. And then, yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice, better than what Starscream had, and he has that jetpack on his back, like any old Jetfire fan will love. <laughs> Next up is Blaster, with his cassettes, unlike Soundwave's, which he ha you are confused, which one's which, which one's which, but yeah, pretty nicely, nice. You can have your Joes playing boomboxing, like boom, 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 boom. But, believe it or not, there are figures in this way to go. And this, this one is Bludgeon, which is a Zipicon pretender. So, possibility pretenders are coming in the near future. Might be. Who knew? We, in the near future, we could get a pretender. Anyway, I forget which one, but on to the other guy with a sword who is silent but deadly from Samurai to Rich Ladies with Tat, which is bearing it with Ravage with a Chain, which is homage to that infinite cover. It was also be a statue, but was cancelled due by nice. Nice to have your Cobra Commander and Destro figure having their fellow lady. Well, well that the Joes have their ninja, Snake Eyes. Yeah, this is how he looks like in the G.I. Joe Transformer comic. Uh, he is pretty... Yeah, hopefully 2014 we can get a 
finally got hold of a Grimlock Charlie pack? Seriously, dinosaurs and redheads. Really good pack. But anyway, this is interesting. And this is the Marvel Universe Deadpool Corp. Which is, you had Deadpool, the champion of the universe. Lady Deadpool, Dog Poo, Squirrel Poo, and Kid Poo. No joke. This is actually family. Speaking of superhero teams, we got the Thunderbolts. On the Legend scale, you have Crossbones, a Captain America villain, Ghost, a Iron Man villain, Moonstone, Julius Chance, and a modern day version of Luke Cage. Pretty nice. Nice small Legends universe. Uh, Legends big scale. All that. I'm pretty surprised they just are in Luke Cage. So you can have your Iron, Iron Man villains and all that. There were other news that I would tell you, but I cannot. Because of the whole factor. But in a way, this is a pretty good idea for energy. For the exclusives, yeah, pretty nice. Nice thing to have for Kevin. But in a way, we have been seeing things. And in a way, this first place we have Kill Chan. And also, also, you know, look out for upcoming events and not all, uh, to the channel. Anyway, bye.